Hello friends, this is Prashant from Laboratory Odyssey. So please like and share these videos and subscribe to the channel. This gives me support to work on such content. As you know, it takes a lot of effort and time to put together, put together something like that. And I hope that you will like these videos and you will learn from these videos. And if you have any questions or you need my help, then obviously you can comment that below the video and then I will try my best to help you out with that particular concern. So we are now going to discuss about the endpoint. These endpoints are the application where you will be actually be able to put up the address from where data has to be changed. So if you are having an integration with an external system, for example SAP, then in case of outbound integration, where exactly you want to exchange the data and in what format that information will be there in the endpoint application. So if you are going to create XML file from the data that you are sending from Maximo to SAP, in that case you will be choosing an endpoint which generates XML as well as you will be able to provide the path at which the XML has to be generated. Similarly, if you are dealing with interface table, then in what database schema, whether it is in your Maximo schema or in some other schema, you want a database table to be generated. That will be uh, defined on MX IFS table endpoint. So you can basically uh, provide a detail. You can also provide the detail of uh, authentication mechanism that is going to be used. For example, if you are going to deal with uh, authentication of a username and password and you are trying to create interface tables and for that particular database schema if you need to first log in before the, the interface table has to be created you can define the username and password and that that particular detail will be available similarly if you are using an, uh, an integration HTTP based integration where you are calling some URL and for that particular URL, you need to pass a credential first so that you can log in into the system. Not every random person can access the information from that particular system. So in that particular case, you need to have the credential set up at the endpoint level. And there are multiple different out of the box endpoints which comes along with Maximo, but then you can create your own endpoint as well. You can duplicate existing endpoint and you can create your own endpoints. So I will go to the endpoint application. So if I come to integration, you will be able to see that I have this uh, endpoint application. And if I hit enter, you will be able to see that there are multiple different endpoints which are there. So the important thing to notice is what is the handler. So if I have to deal with XML, then they, I know that there is particular XML, MX XML file is particular uh, endpoint where the handler XML file is available. In this particular uh, handler class, the logic has been written that will be converting the data coming from Maximo or to Maximo to XML format. So similarly, uh, if I will be going for IFS table, you will be able to see that there is an out of the box. MX IFS table endpoint is available and I was explaining to you earlier, you can set up the driver name, you can set up the password, URL, username, you can set up these information if uh, you need to be, you want to create the IFS table in some target schema, not into the maximum schema. So uh, one of the rules that we have to understand here is that like you see here in MX IFS table, if I'm not providing any detail and especially if this particular thing is remote is zero, which means that the IFS table will be created within the maximum schema itself. But then if I have to create and in the IFS table into some other system, for example, I'm inter 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 integrating with SAP and uh, I am sending the issue transactions to SAP for that I need to create an uh, IFS table. Then in that particular case, and I want this particular IFS table to be in the SAP schema or in some other middle schema, not into the maximum schema, then I will be setting this thing to one and then I will be providing the driver detail, the username and password and the JDBC URL so that Maximo will be able to connect with this particular uh, schema and able to generate the, uh, the table. And if you go to some other other one like XML or there is a one for flat file. If you want to generate a flat file, then obviously you will be using this. 
so you can notice that by default there are some of the values which are available some properties are available if you are not uh, uh, giving any information then the folders will be generated in something known as mia global directory so this mia global directory is a file path in your application server where the xml or the flat files will be generated if you are not giving any detail if you are giving any particular folder detail then obviously then the file will be generated into that particular folder but you have to make sure that the if this particular folder is outside of maximo server then it should be accessible similarly if you are dealing with ifs table you have to understand that the connectivity the required port should open between the maximo application server and the database so that ifs tables can be created so this is the endpoint application and if you do not uh, need uh, to create a custom one then you can utilize the out of the box one but if you are having more than one integration and for every integration if you are having different different folders where you are generating the files or you have different different schemas where you are generating the ifs tables then it is recommended that you can duplicate any of the out of the box endpoint and you can create your custom endpoints so let me show you so let me create so this is out of the box one and i can just duplicate this particular endpoint and i can create a custom one if required as i said that the parameter is report about is very important if you need any external system external, external schema into which this table has to be created then you will be setting it to one and providing all other information otherwise you can just keep it same okay so this is the endpoint one other thing to understand is that how this link is happens is that if i go to external system you will see that for this particular external system we have the endpoint defined here so when you create the external system you will be setting up the endpoint and this information will be copied from the particular type of endpoint so once you have set up an endpoint you are telling maximo that for this particular external system this is the place where i want to leave the data or this is the place from where i want to read the data in the case of outbound integration or in the case of inbound integration respectively so we'll see other aspects uh, of integration and different other components in the next session stay tuned for further content